Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I need you, my love. He is the one. Instead of taking notes in our college class, I am writing down. Sad and cute rhymes for my future poems. I am with close friends, but I want to be in bed cuddling my dude. Miss him so bad when he is not holding me in his arms. I am attached to my boyfriend or shall I say fiancé? I want his kisses or else I am not satisfied. I miss being called princess makes my heart melt inside. The last poem. The last poem I published days without you is for the love of my life. I am his fiancé and forever will be and I am carrying his child. About a week ago, he tragically ended his own life in front of me. I have been struggling so much but I know he is finally at peace. I shall love you till the end of time darling. Even as I write these words. Hers was the first phase I found freshman year at FSU. I'll always remember that garish orange and green gaiter shirt and pin with the picture of a bulldog hanging from a nose. I thought, oh geez, she's got school spirit and I shuddered at the image of cheerleaders and sports stars receiving preferential treatment but my first impression was far from the mark she had a smile for miles and eyes to match and a laugh that could shatter a frown and she laughed any chance she got the few pictures i have left of her she is laughing and smiling in each that big toothy smile and that magical laugh I remember the first time she kissed me. I was playing my guitar on campus. Back when everybody did it, not just pretentious, trying to show off. She came up behind me and did the old hands over the eyes routine. And of course, I knew her voice immediately. She turned my head and kissed me. for the first time and i could hear the whispering and feel everyone's eyes on me and it felt pretty good how i wished someone had snapped a picture for the fs view with the caption future valedictorian kisses scruffy hippie freshman entire student body baffled i was baffled she was the talk of the campus. She spoke her mind always and she was active all over the campus. Doing this and that, I asked her one day, Why do you make your life so complex? When do you rest? And she said, My life used to be complex because I made it that way. But believe it or not, with all I do around campus, really, my life is simple and fun. If I didn't love what I am doing, I'd stop well. Life is too short for complexity. I laughed and I thought to myself, this woman is more complex than she lets on. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.